Hello, this is Trisha Reinhart over at the library again. And today I'm going to show you how to connect up Regis Library's resources with Google Scholar. So if you've used our databases before, which you can get to at the home page here, you know that we have access to many, many full text articles. Um, but if you've used Google Scholar before, which I'm sure many of you have, it is a pretty easy resource to use to search for scholarly resources. One of the biggest caveats with using that is the paywall. So you click on an article and you get asked to pay for the article or to subscribe to the journal. So here's a basic Google Scholar search that I did and so there's some that have these the PDF links next to it. But let's say you're interested in this article here and you click on it. It says uh, get access here. But when you click on it, it says purchase PDF for $35.95. Uh, you should never have to pay for an article. You can um, either look in our databases or do the library link, which I'm going to show you here, which will automatically show you what we have in our databases. So if I head back to my search results here, and I go up to the three bars in the upper left hand corner, I'm going to go to my settings, which is the little gear here. Now I'm in a browser, I'm in Chrome. So my settings are showing down the bottom here. If you're on a mobile device or um, another browser, your gear might show up up here next to the, the Google Scholar. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to go to settings and then I'm going to go to library links right here. And so I have to search for Regis College Library. Go ahead and hit search. And here it is. I need to check it off and then hit save. And so when I hit save, it's now going to pop out this link here, this find at Regis College for items that Google Scholar recognizes that we actually have in our resources. So when I click on this link, it's going to ask me to log in with my Moodle login into the databases. And then it's going to take me to what we call Full Text Finder, which will then give you a series of links that you can click on any of them. And it will take you out to which database or resource that we have. And so here I can download the PDF to this article that I found in Google Scholar. Now an alternative is if you go back to the results and you don't see this find at Regis College and you click on something and it asks you to pay for it, um, you can actually copy the article title and paste it into Power Search. And so when it loads, here is the entry here. Um, now, we do not have this particular article in our resources. Um, we don't either don't subscribe to this journal or this particular issue, but that's okay because now you have another free option that you can utilize, which is this request from interlibrary loan. And watch our video that we have on requesting items from interlibrary loan. If, you, if you've used it before, you watch that video, you know that it is free. It's easy and it's also relatively quick. So you have many options for searching for items, not just in our databases and Google Scholar as well. And if you have any questions about how to link up Regis Library with Google Scholar or anything else, feel free to get in touch with us. Thank you. Please stay well and stay safe.